Hello and welcome back to Banish with the Mega Mods. I was looking around at some fencing just here, and I did notice that this little hunter cabin here has a little lamp thing. Well, guess what? So does this mod. And I figured, oh, you're gonna have to pay something for some of this stuff, and some of these are some interesting little planters and such. But this ghosted guy here, Let's just stick him down and he's it lights up. That is pretty fantastic. I like having that adds a, a little extra something. I don't know what it's going to do to any kind of frame rates down the road, if that's going to do anything, but we'll, we'll find out about that. So I have a bunch that are kind of like around. That is part of the structure there, but I have a few of them around here. And does look like you can get rid of it. I managed to get a little bit more things built up around it. Oh, how interesting. So right here I have a wooden market cart because I was thinking I need to get wood over here. Maybe that's why this guy's kind of slow. So it'd be nice to have wood over here and also at some point, you know, the, the sawmill could use it too. So having someone over there might be pretty useful. I also started to dip into the, the quay stuff because I was like, well, you know, it'd be nice to have a, a little bit of a different kind of building here. Let's get into our dock stuff. And we can kind of wrap around here and have them deposit back on land. So that's a, a good thing. That'll be a pretty big barn, so that will help with this area don't have the water scavenger but uh, we do have also over here because all of our other barns in various places I know they were small but they are full so we got a, a stock a large dock one there I've got a different dock storage thing here we can have a little bit of a uh, docks and stuff going out here so we may need to get a little bit along a little bit of dock things along here. I don't want to. I don't want it to impede on the water too much, but a little bit for decoration and variety would work as well. So that is. Those two are close to done here. Also on this dock workshop, they were doing some a bunch of different coats and stuff, and I had them do some ropes. I don't know if... I'm not sure why you would be out of reeds. I mean, they only needed reeds for that. I'm pretty sure we probably have a lot of reeds. As that is one thing that... Oh no, we're down to 90. This person's been gathering quite a bit in a year, but we must have used a lot there. So I'm not... I don't think people will just... If we happen to be cutting down trees, they might actually deposit it there, but I think we need to actually have someone employed as a market vendor and see how that goes. And there's that other one. It's not a real pretty one, but there's multiple ins and outs of it, so I figured at least put the little dock thing here and it won't get stuck, which is the intention of adding that in. Okay. I wonder if I can just kind of get a little bit around here and a little bit of oops, ground cover. We have some reeds and those can get done up and they're already putting the turnips in there so any of these things. Uh, the protein barn is the only one that's not very full, but everything else around, I think, we're, was getting pretty full here. We got firewood being used, not used, but put in there, because we have quite a bit there as well. And I've been slowly working on getting these roads transformed along here. And uh, these flowers, I think, are on like the red ketchup stuff. They add quite a bit, but they are kind of big, so if you have roads and stuff that you're trying to make sure look good, uh, these these big flowers are sometimes 
a little bit problematic there. But I really don't I don't really need it unless I'm gonna put some fencing around it, which I might. I was thinking of once we get some of our stone taken care of, that may be one of those options to consider at some point. So we got people and stuff going on over here now. Uh, we'll probably have roadish here. That is the wrong road. Let's make sure we remove it. Okay. And still stick with country roads. At some point when they start getting over here, I mean, I'll probably have some proper stone or brick or something to use up in that direction. So speaking of, if we're going to start getting stone and iron and stuff uh, built up around here, the coal and iron and, and, and all that stuff, we're going to need places to put it and then we'll probably need some places to uh, start collecting and putting some of the things in for getting our certain production chains and such. So we do have, I think, I think we do have a little smelter guy, but we don't really have him doing anything. Yeah, he's, he's turned off, but we can. I don't know, he wants furnace fuel. Oh, that's right. So we have the village workshop. What did we have around here? They're kind of out of mead. Or honey and stuff. Well, I can kind of leave that off for right now. This is a... Oh my gosh, it's, it's just not clicking. It's very particular on where you can click on the structure. That is just that. This is going to be a smelter, however, these iron the iron stuff is doing pretty good I don't think this is needed here because if I'm not gonna do too much mining it's probably just best to go ahead oh they do coal by themselves oh that's pretty nice okay we might end up just putting in another tiny mine around here somewhere just for the coal that would be pretty useful okay you are a brewer I didn't realize we had two people? No. Okay, where's the other person? You're a blacksmith. Oh, because you were doing something and now we don't need you doing anything. I don't think they were producing anything anyhow, just because we didn't have the, the fuel. So I need to figure out some sort of road something along here. We have a bit of dock, a bit of road. This is kind of the main road. Uh, let's get our house, house, I was going to say our rings of influence here. Okay, do we, I don't think we have anything. I think this is just, yeah, barns and stuff. So, probably somewhere along in this direction. Let's get a couple wide road. Allow them to take care of that. Gonna need a. It also kind of lines up nicely here. Double wide road there. So I figured we'll probably still keep some housing and stuff in this area because you're gonna need it for people over here so that they can kind of work and get into their work at a pretty reasonable distance. Okay, we can get rid of that. We do not need any meat, <laughs> so they are fine to go there. Variety will be good later on, even more so than we have now, uh, but we just don't quite need it right yet. These would be like really fantastic for later on, and I think you can actually probably do houses on top of that too if you really wanted to. But those are not an option at the moment. There's the general one. So I don't know if I want to try to 
future put some stuff over here or or what because some of this stuff will take quite a bit of time unless we happen to buy uh, I think it uh, I think those are building supplies that are needed for that but we should probably get something in the meantime we could use more of these it doesn't say how much can be held, used in, or held in those things. We have a couple over here. Oh gosh, that's a tiny amount. It looks nice, but it is tiny. Okay, we're like a stockpile here. Uh, close to 500? Maybe? 450? Uh, something like that. And that, that does take up... Yeah, that would take up like three of those transit areas. But that holds more stuff. Well, we could temporarily put down stockpiles. And then after that, decide to change it into warehouses and such. So we might as well get a rather large one. Do want to leave enough for a road and whatnot? Alright. So that, that'll work. Let's make sure they prioritize this. <laughs> so we have a little bit to remove. Looks like they got some road in. Okay. Not sure how much overall would want to put in this area. Oh, I don't think I think I want to have them take out the resources. So have them just mark it so that they can I don't know I don't want to I don't want to go into that creek so well these these uh, traders are coming by pretty quick coconut seeds no we still don't have enough accumulated there yet okay they did get that down pretty quickly all right and we got a road thing going on here. Kind of thinking we might have to, because I kind of put stuff already too close to the water there. I don't think I can do a double road. I don't think it'll be too bad if kind of change that just a little bit. I don't like having, I like keeping it natural if we can, but sometimes it needs to be functional as well. Alright, I think we can do double road there too. Because I think we, I think it was based off of uh, how the the roads were kind of I, I put both of the buildings facing each other so they were sharing some of the road thing I think so that works out so I got a road here that'll be structure that structure and at least this one can stay permanent we'll just have that guy that stockpile kind of figured that that work <laughs> that actually work it's not allowing me to click on anything that is kind of strange all right let's cancel it because I should be able to it cannot be placed I might have messed something up already <laughs> That's okay. Okay, we should have roads, road here, road here. 
Uh, it still doesn't. I think. Is it because it's too skinny? No, you should be able to do them in lines. I wonder if. No, there's no roads. Oh, okay. That, yeah, that's right. That's part of the structure. That's right. You can only do roads here. I was kind of hoping we can kind of make it a little bit more functional there, but that's okay. It won't be. Alright, so I'd like to... That reed is kind of freaking out a little bit. Get some sort of dock so it's not like necessarily hugging it, but there'll be something over here that's functional. I don't think we can do too much of the quay. Too much we can do the fishery. If I do a fishery, then not much else can go in this corner, except for the dock. Uh, tex textile storage. That probably won't work for what we need there. Trade chicken. Hmm. Do not have any areas set up yet for any kind of livestock stuff. Although it's a very good option. Let's see how much we have total trading worth. Oh wow, there's a, lot, <laughs> there's a lot more there than I thought there was. Okay, so we can get another seed or plant or a tree. Hmm. That, that could help with trading for sure to get enough of that stuff. We would need another person to tend to it. Alright, starting to actually get our people coming in. So that is pretty good. Wood and food still doing good so I don't have to fill out those foresters yet. Because we got foresters and gatherers to still fill out. We, and then we can start putting people also on the mines. We got hunters. We got a couple herdsmen. We got one there. Oh yeah, this this uh, was closed. Let's keep an eye on that one. Egg pen. That's obviously doing pretty good. Yeah, I don't. I don't think these will die, but let's try. I was doing it doing this a little bit sooner than I thought I was gonna have to do, but let's figure out where and get some pasture stuff. So originally I was thinking somewhere over here, that would leave us still plenty of room for industrialized kind of things. Well, this is a huge area that if we want to develop it for all the agricultural stuff we could do that. And still have probably a little bit of housing and such over here. Let's go ahead and go back to country roads. We got a little bit of bumpy hillness there. There's still a good bit there. But I think I'll have them actually take care of it by themselves. And let's go ahead and stick the first pasture over here. We have a couple different varieties of different pastures. You got standard, fenceless, slope, if we want to have it on a slope, uh, bear pasture. Okay, this is no animal shelter, so in case you want a different look. Village fenceless, another village fen Oh, this is bushes. Interesting. Okay, so a little bit of different look to it. I, I don't know, I personally like the fences. I guess if you want to do your own fencing, that would work out pretty well. Alright, how big? Let's get that going. And get another person out there. 
kind of start roughing out a bit of stuff around here. This workspace is very far away, even like from here or something. And then if I do put some housing over here, it's still kind of far away, but I think with an agricultural area, it's always kind of nice to have the mixture of fields and pastures and barns and houses. So I think for right now, I will get someone out here and... Hmm. I don't know if I'll just... I don't think I'll have a theme, per se. Definitely, I don't like to use the tiny shacks. Every once in a while in a specific places that looks good. The stone is, the stone is good, but it's just kind of out of place a bit. Maybe I'll, I'll just for this one, I'll stick this house out here too. And so our people, our population, a lot of kids had started becoming laborers. So yeah, we kind of need a couple more houses. All right, so here's another do a country road up and around there because there's a road going that that direction and that can leave us a space to put a house over here as well. Something kind of different. Happy Haven. Well, that's that's different. A simple shack. Those are still those would be still pretty good to stick out in the forest. Cozy cabin looks pretty big. Okay, so nothing really. Wow, nothing unique over there. Well, that's okay. That's a pretty interesting house. That would not leave much space to do much decoration around it, but I can stick it there and then stick some bushes on the side. Bushes do a pretty good job of kind of covering a, a large amount of space. Okay, so this animal shed, milk and eggs. Ooh, milk. Milk's kind of cool. I don't. I still don't think we have enough. The domesticated animals. Yeah, we got two because our that one guy. We don't have enough gatherers employed for all that. All right, pasture and abode. That's what we need to get taken care of. Let's get some more people in there. Hopefully get that done a little bit quicker. Probably need... Uh, we probably need a little stockpile. That might be what's holding it up. I, I really hate doing temporary stockpiles, but sometimes you need to do it. <laughs> Alright. Priority on that one, and then it's pretty easy and they'll just dump stuff off of there. All right, all food stuff. I'll hold on until we can get something interesting. I think I've gotten most of these roads converted. There's just a few that are kind of still hanging around of the old type of road. What is that? I think that's a different kind of road I think I put down by accident. How is our gatherer doing over here? They're getting cherries. They definitely are getting the other stuff as well. And they're still uh, occasionally cutting down some trees over here. We probably still need even more stockpiles somewhere. 
We have... Oh, we had someone that died during childbirth. That's always unfortunate because you're losing the person that could ha potentially have another child. Alright, let's cut another one there. And probably something also out here as well. I kind of do my stockpiles and, and different things a little at a time and my biggest problem is sometimes forgetting to go back and put in more. Alright, well we got some of that stuff done pretty quickly. So this is pretty full. I just figured we needed it for firewood and that guy's almost pretty full too. I don't want to take up too much of this foresty area. Yeah, it looks like I can probably put a little bit down here as well. Maybe put some fencing around at some point. Alright, I think now that they got the stockpile thing done, I gotta wait for them to kind of catch up and take care of that because I'd like to make sure that these... They're not normal chickens, they're trade chickens, so I don't know if they're gonna die like normal animals. So let's figure out <laughs> what's gonna happen there. Alright, so we finally got uh, our stuff done here. So standard pasture, trade chickens, we can stick a person in there, and we have a person here. So trades person, I'm hoping they'll just stick in right there. Got a couple crop field stuff laid out there. Barns, I don't think I'm going to be quite so picky on. I mean, like, if it's the standard one, that one will work where it's going to work. Food cellars, that could be nice as well. That's a really big one. Oh, increased capacity of 9,000. 9, I'm definitely liking the sound of that one. So let's also get that in. Textiles. Why is there a limit? Oh, lim Oh, wow. We're already on food limit. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're going to start kind of laying out a little bit of this stuff around here. Well, we can start getting in seeds for next time, and I think maybe get a couple more of these guys going and start getting a little bit more around here as well. And then as we need it, get in a couple more homes. We were at 26 and 26 not too long ago, uh, so we can now then get in a few more and hopefully get the population going up a little bit more. Thanks for watching and see you next time.